NANI?! Damien Wright. I lead diversity recruiting for and to it. For one, uh, it would be sales. Uh, number two, software engineering. So like if you're thinking about taking a technical route, software engineering is a great way to get your foot in the door. If you don't think you want to be like technical, taking sales is an amazing way uh, to get your foot in the door. Yeah, um, it depends on the role, but I'll speak specifically for the two that we talked about in sales and software engineering. I would say you would get anywhere, like sales, probably around 75, 80,000 uh, area, but you have potential to get commissions so that you can easily get into the six figures. That doesn't count like the benefits and all that good stuff. And then software engineering, easily six figures. Six figures like 100,000, $125,000. Uh, I'm going to keep it simple and say uh, being coachable. Like when, when you're new in the industry, uh, you want to make sure that uh, not only you're, you're receiving feedback, but you're taking action on it. My name is Lauren Moppins with IBM. I am the early professional development sales leader. So what I do is I manage all of our interns in the sales industry. I, I manage all of our early career professionals. So anybody coming straight out of college, looking to get into sales, will have to come to me for our program. So the one thing I love most about sales is whatever money you wanna make, you can make it in sales, whatever effort you put into sales. The base salary that we target for all of our early career professionals starts at $80,000, but the potential to make money is up to your, how hard you work. So you can make from eighty to two hundred thousand dollars in our sales organization with IBM. Hey, I'm Corin Townsend, and I represent Red Hat. I'm a senior project manager in marketing. So Red Hat does a lot of things. We look for a lot of different skill sets. It's not we're mostly known for engineering and coding, but we do a lot of jobs, and we need a lot of people. IT, operations, marketing, legal, PR, it's, it, it's across the board. So it's, it's not just one thing. We do a lot of things that we're looking for. 60 to 100,000. Hello, my name is Tangela. I work at L'Oreal. I am a recruiter. I recruit for all of our marketing and digital internships and postgraduate opportunities. Oh, we have tons of job opportunities across the organization from super creative, marketing, strategy, working on concepts, mood boards for new launches, all the way to super technical roles, working on software engineering, data analytics, um, analyzing a lot of our data so that we can better understand our consumers. There are so many opportunities. Um, of course, I'll say shout out to marketing because I recruit for marketing, so. Marketing number one. <laughs> oh, coming out of college. So I'll say some of our like higher end um, postgraduate opportunities are around like 80,000, 85. So that's like maybe a high end for coming out of college. It can go between like 50 and 85. And then you'll continue to grow, build your salary and build your skills. And then everything from there is really advocating for yourself, continuing to upskill, gaining new um, abilities, um, developing yourself. That's how you can really continue to grow that salary. Oh, number one skill coming out of college, I would say communication. That is the one thing that will take you so far. Being able to communicate concisely, being straightforward and getting your point across is chef's kiss. My name is Alamide Afalabi. So my company is called Start Saying More. We're a platform that connects black and minority individuals to mental health providers that they're most likely to get along with. So we created a software that takes into consideration your preferences, personality type, experiences, and areas of concern to match you with somebody who you can actually let your hair down with. Mental health is the most important thing. Like We go to the doctors all the time for every other part of our bodies, but we're always ignoring our mental. And the thing is, all of the things we experience, the trauma, the experiences, 
everything can bog you down and it all can, you know, it can lead to depression, anxiety. Black people are twice as likely to experience chronic depression than white people. But less than, fewer than 50% of black people will get help for their chronic depression. And you know, chronic depression is something that really holds us down. It'll stop you, it'll demotivate you. So I just want to help our community so that we can be more productive in every area of life as well. Follow Start Saying More on Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn. Watch us grow. And if you need a therapist or know a therapist, holla at us. Hi, my name is Kelly Kelly with Wells Fargo. Hello, my name is Felicia Bolton with Wells Fargo. One of the number one positions that we're looking for is an engineering analyst or engineering associate position. When it comes to our early talent pool, we are definitely looking for data analysts um, within our university programs. The number one skill set is the willingness to learn and the willingness to come in and share your ideas. We want you to come in and be a change agent in our organization. So we can teach you the technical skills, but we need for you to come in and, and make a difference, be a, a disruptor. They should just be really open to learn everything they need. At Wells Fargo, we don't believe that our college students have to have all those hard skills. We believe in up upskilling them and training them to make them ready for those next opportunities that they're looking for. I would say a realistic starting salary, depending on your market, could range anywhere between $65,000 to $100,000 a year. Oh.